Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and before we get into the super interesting video we have coming up for you guys I just wanted to make like a little bit of a quick announcement So I see this comment. It's like 20 to 25 Maybe like sometimes there's even like 50 comments that are like, you know, why are there no ads in your video? Uh, why are you not monetized blah 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 just like things around those lines and the truth is I'm actually not monetized right now um, Usually youtubers get monetized once they reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 view hours now, I don't have the stats right in front of me, but I have somewhere somewhere like 500,000 viewing hours and obviously almost 17k subs, which I'm super thankful. Thank you guys for. Uh, but I'm not making any money yet due to a lot of complicated reasons. I'd get into it, but it would take like five minutes to explain. Uh, if you guys want an explanation, you guys can always DM me on Twitter on, or on Discord and I can explain it to you there, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. But anyways, a lot of you guys have asked how you guys can support me. So I've created my own Patreon. The link is going to be in the description below. And you guys can support me just by donating, you know, um, I was streaming on Twitch and a lot of you guys were donating there, but unfortunately just the, the Twitch takes so much of the money that there's really no gain for me. I don't want you guys also to lose your money by trying to support me. So I created this Patreon where hundred percent of the money goes towards me, the editor and just upgrades for YouTube because I want YouTube to be full time. I want to take it to the next level and I really do enjoy making content for you guys. So if you guys are able to help out. Uh, no matter how much it, it does mean a lot there's going to be a ton of perks so make sure you let me know if you're one of those people that helped because i would love to add you guys to the friends list give you guys a special role in the discord server we could have conversations all the time but anyways with that being said i have a super 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 interesting video for you guys today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to go into siege games and see if we can win multiple games without getting a siege bot now obviously this is going to be super difficult but with the recent buff to penny barley being pretty strong and we do have a bull which is going to help out a lot i do think it is possible so without further ado let's hop into the first game and let's see if we can make it happen okay so here we go into the first game and it looks like we're actually going to be facing a pretty squishy team and this is going to be pretty good for me and pagi but for real canadian there is definitely going to be a challenge with this one so he's just going to get the first bolt and I think our plan is going to be to try and get two bolts to start off so we could tie the first uh, the first bot. I do think that's the best strategy. Hopefully they remember they're not supposed to get bolts. Okay, so I think it's going to be two to one here. Okay, so they just tied it up to two. So right now we got to make sure that nobody gets a bolt. Although it doesn't really affect too much, it would be better. Okay, it looks like their Rico's gonna go down, but it looks like, yeah, they're still gonna be able to get this uh, this bot. So not the best start in the world for us, to be honest. I'm gonna plant this right over here. Let's see what it does when it explodes. It's gonna hit it a couple times. So gonna, I have 9% done over there. I was also able to kill two of them, which is gonna be super good because their push is not going to be strong at all. I'm going to help out with the defense, obviously. There we go. The reason we picked the bull is a lot of the fact because he's a god on defense. You can just stop that bot. And obviously we need strong defense so that they don't just one push us. So we're going to be able to take out that penny over there. Not the worst thing in the world that they are getting these bolts because at the end of the day, we do kind of want them to. Patchy's going to use his super over there. I think we're going to try and tie this one. Uh, okay, it looks like we do have the lead, so don't give them this one. Oh, uh, Apache just walked straight into it, I think, off of habit. So we can't support the bot whatsoever, I suppose. Or maybe they're going to tie it, I don't know. I don't think they're going to be able to. Yeah, they're not going to be able to tie it, so just don't help the bot at all. We're just going to let the bot do whatever. Hopefully Apache realizes that we're not allowed to help the bot. I think Apache's just going to stay back. Yeah, perfect. So everyone's going to stay back. Obviously, we're not allowed to help out with the bot. If the bot does 1% and the challenge doesn't count. So it's going in. There we go. Didn't do any damage whatsoever, so we're good to proceed now. Going to throw that penny turret back out there. And Real Canadian does have his super, so we can now go in. Okay. It's better that he does go in with a barley, though, to be honest. I'm just building up my super over here. Doing a pretty good job so far, so there can only be two more bots. So if we can tie this one, that would be really, really good for us. We'd give them the maximum, maximum amount of time to destroy the Ike. I'm able to pick up the kill over there. I'm just going to throw this bot over there. Okay, perfect. I think we will be able to grab the tie. Not going to pick that one up. 
So we're doing good. We only have 35% more to go. Let's see. We're going to probably be able to take out this guy. Oh, but we were hit with that Penny Mortar. Oh, let's not go back to it. Force of Habit to Juke back. And we actually got killed by it. All right. So it's looking pretty good over here. If we can just tie this, that would actually be super good. But I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Looks like they're planning on going in. Patchy and Real Canadian. Not sure. Oh, no. That's a big miss on our part. We're just going to put that in the middle to help out. Don't want them to get a super, super strong push to the point that we're not able to get the win. Let's see. Patchy looks like he's going to be supering that Ike. He is going to be able to hit it, I think. Yeah, he's going to be able to hit it. Looks like Real Canadian went in. Patchy, if he gets two lobs, should be able to finish it. And that is going to be the end of the first game. So yes, we did get a bot, but we also did not help it at all. But I think next game what we're going to try and do is make sure that we just completely don't get a bot. But at the same time, that was 100 to nothing without getting any damage done by a siege bot. So let's hop into that second game and hopefully we can just not get a siege bot in total and still get that dub. So here we go into the third game and we're going to be facing a Dynamite, a Penny, and a BB. So a really, really strong team. Oh, sorry. I mean second game. I'm used to doing them live. I, we just lost the previous game. And obviously this is probably going to take many tries, so I'm not going to put in all of the games that we play. Okay, so again, we just want to get those tie-in tie in bolts. Oh, messed up my English there. So I'm just going to throw this right into their spawn. Going to get pretty messed up there by the Dynamite. Good play by him, but we're going to do the 9% that we're supposed to do to the Ike. Again, now we're really, really good on defense because we have the ball. And Real Canadians trying to die. They're not going to be able to kill him. So we're just going to have to not help out our push at all, which is the rule here. So again, we're going to do about 9%. Okay, yeah, we did about 9% to the safe over there. So again, we just got to let the robot do the robot. We can't help it in any way whatsoever. So we're just going to let it go up. They're obviously defending it well, we're not helping at all. And they're about to take it out, and there we go. So they take it out over there. We can now continue. Okay, there we go, we're able to double tap. Good play over there by RC to get the bolt. Patchy's gonna get a super off onto the safe, or onto the Ike, sorry. And I'm gonna be able to hit that penny, help hit the safe a tiny bit, and as well do some damage with my uh with my mortar so a lot of good playing done there Ooh, he's aiming for that dynamite rc is going to be able to pick up a bolt and he has a super and rc is the big boy when our when real canadian can go in that's when we do a big majority of our damage so perfect we we're able to tie it up over there which is the goal give us more time without having to defend So let's see if we can get this pinch over here, here with RC. Okay, so he wasn't really aware that I was trying to pinch, so I kind of just walked up for no reason and died. Uh, Patchy's near the safe. It looks like Real Canadian is going to go in now. And even if he dies, Patchy can help him out. Okay, yeah, so he went in. Patchy's definitely helping him out. They're doing a ton of damage right now. They did about 31% and Patchy's still alive, which is pretty remarkable. So we're going to get our turret. We're just going to throw it in there. We do some damage to the BB and to the Penny. We're going to be able to take out the BB. And I only think it hit it one time. So it looks like they're going to get a big push over here. And if RC gets a super and goes in, then perhaps we can win it. But if not, we could defend this pretty easily. So Patchy's going to get a super. So again, he can get some shots off onto the Ike. I'm going to throw my super into their base. Hopefully it does some damage. It's going to do the 9%. Looks like real uh, Apache is going to shoot his super. Is it going to hit? Yeah, it's going to hit the safe. Okay. So all I need to do, I think, is get my super one more time. So if RC just take, I'm going to try and tank for Apache. Apache didn't go in. But all it's going to take is a super hit, hit, hit. Okay, I think it got the hit. There we go. We're able to get the win again without any damage from the bot. So again, I'm only going to show the wins for this game because losses would take forever. But we're a solid 2-1 and one right now. And it's actually not as hard as I thought it was. We're doing pretty well. So let's hop into our fourth game and let's see if we can get our third win.
Okay, so here we go into our second game here, and our third game, or fourth game, whatever it is. And we're going to be facing Double Penny Rosa. Now, this is going to be a challenge. Uh, this is going to be pretty interesting, to be honest. So, we are able to get a kill over there. We're almost charged our super at this point. I think we only need one more shot. Just wait for this penny to spawn. Okay, so there is our shot. Gonna try and take out that penny. Probably gonna get that 9% that we usually get. Ooh, we only got 5 this time. Okay. Went a little bit too close to their Rosa over there. Apache does have his super at this point. And I actually think it's pretty good that we're facing a Rosa. Because now that RC can get a super off of it, it can do a lot of work. Okay, so this, this should not be a thing. Should not allow this on our save. Hopefully it doesn't hurt us too badly. Okay, Apache was able to get the kill. It looks like Real Canadian did go in and he did a ton of damage. So I'm going to throw my penny turret over here. And just distract them a bit. We're going to get that 9%. We're going to be able to kill their penny and we're doing a ton of work right now. Their penny is going to be almost taken out and Real Canadian is going to do a terrific job at defending. So we've already done 50% and we're only one minute into the game over here. So this is looking super good at this point. It looks like Patchy is going to be killed. Ooh, he's going to stay alive. Okay, pretty good play over there by Patchy. Not bad. So we're going to try and get this bolt here. Okay, we're not going to be successful. Patchy again is going to get a super. And he's going to be able to do 10 to 11% to their Ike. Now let's see if I can kill Dupin. To be honest, I'm just kind of waiting for Real Canadian to get a super. Okay, there we go. So we got his. Please don't target him. Okay, oh, he almost got in the middle of it. So I'm gonna try and do a good amount of damage over here. Okay, yeah, so we definitely did a really good amount. It's actually at 4% right now. So if someone could get there, we will be able to win it, but Patchy is gonna be taken out. Yeah, Real Canadian's gonna have to end it. I don't think he's gonna be able to. This is not looking good for us right now. No, this is definitely looking like a loss at this point. Wow. Only four more percent was needed. So we're definitely gonna keep this one in the video because it was super, super close, but we're gonna go for one more win. Let's get that last win and then we're probably gonna wrap it up there. Okay, so here we go into our next game. And again, we're gonna be facing Double Penny. But we're going to be facing a Daryl too, which again is really good for RC so it can charge his super. It's just not going to be a bunch of ranged characters. Uh, unfortunately, he's not on a lane with it though. So let's see if I can get a couple of hits with the coins with that Daryl coming through the mid. I wasn't able to do so. And it looks like I'm actually going to get pinched over here, so I did get my super though, which is good. Real Canadian is going to be used, playing pretty good on his lane, chipping away, getting his super. Apache is going to be able to get a kill. Okay, the turret is going to be planted over here. So me and RC are going to be able to take it out, but it is going to hit our safe two times now. So again, I'm not going to pick this up. Just not going to let them pick it up right now. And there we go. I'm able to pick it up at this point. Going to throw my turret there. Try and get my charge back off of this Daryl over here. RC is doing a great job. So, so far they're actually winning, but I think Patchy's about to hit the safe. Oh no, it missed actually. Okay, so Patchy's just going to stand at the edge, and we're basically just going to try and trap them. And they're going to actually throw a turret into our safe. Okay, okay. So i got to take this out now. Patchy's going to hit it twice, which I'm not going to have to hit it anymore. Okay, that did a ton of percent, actually. So I think they have the same strategy that we have, but they're actually trying to get a bot. So this is going to be extremely difficult over here. It looks like RC did just go in, which is super, super good. I don't really know what this Daryl is doing, to be honest. We're doing a really good job so far in the mid. They're not able to pick up too much momentum over here. Apache's going to have a decent super, but it's going to actually turn out to not charge his super at all. We're going to throw this penny turret in here. We're going to use this bot to hit the safe once or twice hit their Ike. We're only able to hit it once, but obviously we were able to hit it with our, um, with our turret. So you can see RC is going to do as best of a job as he can defending this. And he's actually going to do a pretty good job, in fact. I don't think they're going to do too much percent. Yeah, they didn't do that much damage. So that is pretty good, but unfortunately they do have those penny turrets, which are just going to rain down on our save. Hopefully none of these hit me. Okay. We just got to be super careful now. 
This is going to be extremely, extremely tough. Going to back up over here. Try and hit that penny a lot. Okay. That's actually going to be fine defense because we're able to get the penny. Okay, so RC does have a super. So do we. So we're going to try and go in here. Hopefully RC goes in. Okay, there he goes. So we're going to get some shots off over here. Real Canadian's going to go down. I'm going to get some shots off. Okay, maybe that's enough. That might... Oh, no! It was all going for it. We would have had it. We would have had it. We just needed two more seconds. No way. Okay, we're going to wrap up the video there. So clearly, this challenge is super, super, super difficult. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing it if you're trying to push cups. But it was super fun. So that's going to be it for the video. So shout out to Patchy and Real Canadian. Obviously, follow their Twitters if you haven't already because they're pros, you know. Everything, if you guys want to keep up with the game, definitely follow all the pros on Twitter. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to the people that supported with the Patreon. It does mean a lot. And make sure you reach out to me and let me know that you're one of the people that did support the Patreon. Because I'll try and do whatever I can for you guys. So that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.